So, how could we investigate this? How can we try and figure this out? Now, I don't expect you to come up in, in a, I'm going to give you two minutes to talk. I don't expect you to come up with a materials list and a procedure, but think about the second question is important. Think about what kind of data would you want to collect? What kind of data would you want to collect to help us figure out if this chemical reaction is occurring in us. Okay? Two minutes. Data about like, um, uh, about like once it gets like absor absorbed or like broken down, like what's happening to it exactly? Well, that's another, that's another point. Um, I, I agree with what you said, but I think another one would be like um, a carbon dioxide sensor because normally when you burn something, carbon dioxide is released. So if we were to have a fire in us, we could sense the carbon dioxide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. So basically, I want to see what, like, what happens while yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. I think there's some like, acids that do something that could like, be kind of like fire, but I'm not sure. So, do you think that there's a fire in ourselves, or do you think that it's something similar? Like in different ways, mm. like water is. I honestly like think it's something similar. Like, maybe really similar, like the acid. I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah, I got something. Maybe the oxygen that we breathe in, it can go to our stomach and actively light the fire and then we give up the carbon dioxide. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so, Mr. Clincho, I kind of thought of something. Mm -hmm. So, two things. So, maybe, don't you have a sensor that can measure carbon dioxide? I do. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe you can measure, like, not that we can do it, but maybe you can measure, like, the carbon dioxide inside of the body, because normally when you burn something, carbon dioxide is released. And the second thing I thought is that whenever you... So, how does... If we can detect fruit or collect data that there is carbon dioxide being produced in our bodies, how does that help us to say that this reaction is going on? Well, I was just answering the question about there was a fire in our body, that's why. So, so the, the, the question of is this reaction going on in the body, right? How does, if, you, if your idea, which I think is a great idea, to detect, if we can detect that there's a great, it, there's carbon dioxide being produced in the body, how, can that, how does that data help us to prove that this chemical reaction is occurring in the body? Because if there's carbon dioxide in water, that means that that's a product of oxygen in our food. Do you agree with that? Because yeah, you, you like inhale oxygen and maybe some of that oxygen could be going to where the food is. So you need the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide has to be produced, right? Yes. So if you if you can show if you show that carbon dioxide is being produced, that helps to support it, right? Yes. But if you show that no carbon dioxide, then you know that this reaction can't be happening, right? Good. Very so good. maybe you can like put the sensor somewhat like close to your mouth, so when you're done, you can just breathe out and it can sense. Great. The carbon I dioxide. like that idea. All right. So. Um, Markel, what do you think? What could we do? Um, maybe have like a carbon dioxide sensor. And how do you know about this carbon dioxide sensor? Because um, when you exhale... Sounds crazy. Because when you exhale, um, you exhale carbon dioxide. So, and um, carbon dioxide is the result of um, oxygen and food. And how do you know that this sensor exists? Because you said you had one. Because oh, I said I had one. Just, uh, and what else? Because we... We use one, right? And so we know that we can we can use it. That's great. So, yeah. Oh, okay, wait. I was thinking about the oxygen. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I thought of it was like um, our body, like we breathe in oxygen and we like eat fruits. 
and then like as you sweat, it like has water in it and it breathes out carbon dioxide. So like, I don't know if that's kind of like how the process is. Like, like, Everybody hear that? No. no. Again? All right. So you know how we like breathe in oxygen and we take in food, but then we breathe out carbon dioxide and we yes. sweat water. Yes. And so sweat. Like, yeah. That's like the chemical reaction. So that's summer that that's a nice summary of, of kind of what we know what goes on inside our body. How can we you've been told this, right? What data then would we need to collect to as evidence to prove it? 